Hello, today I learned about the link between Hitchcock's rear window and Alvin and the Chipmunks. So let's start with Hitchcock's Rear Window, one of my favorite films. It came out in 1954. If you don't know it, it's about a photographer with a broken leg who becomes obsessed with spying on his neighbors, one of whom may be a murderer. That photographer is played by the great James Stewart and his girlfriend is played by Grace Kelly. But what about those neighbours he's spying on? Well, there's one detective and two cartoon voices out there. The man suspected of being the murderer is played by Raymond Burr, who went on to great fame playing TV detective Perry Mason and Ironside. The neighbour whose dog gets killed, Which one of you killed my dog? is played by Sarah Burner. She voiced Jerry the Mouse from Tom and Jerry in some special episodes when he spoke, like here with Gene Kelly. Will you try? If you show me. I'll show you. I'll try. But it's the pianist man who interests me the most. He was played by Ross Bagdasarian. He was a songwriter in real life and had a hit in the early 50s with Rosemary Clooney's song, Come On At My House. That's Rosemary Clooney, who is George Clooney's aunt, by the way. In 1958, Ross experimented by speeding up the vocals and he had a hit with The Witch Doctor. That went to number one under his stage name of David Seville. Now the record company, of course, wanted a follow up, but they suggested having a character out front. And so he came up with three chipmunk brothers, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. They were named after the record company execs, Alvin Bennett, Simon Waronka and Theodore Keep. The Chipmunks were of course a huge success and Ross continued to voice them until his death in 1972. Since then his son Ross Jr and Ross Jr's wife Janice have also voiced the Chipmunks and the Chipettes in the 1980s TV series. <laughs> And Ross Jr. also did Alvin's singing voice in the most recent CGI movies. So that's how Alvin and the Chipmunks all began with Hitchcock's Rear Window. That's something I've learned today. I will have another one for you tomorrow. Thank you very much.